Hi, it's DJ Angelo, and I'd like to introduce you to Reloop's latest addition to their controller range, the Jockey 3 Remix. After the success of the original version, Reloop have kept everything you loved about the Jockey 3 and have taken this controller to the next level. There's now two new powerful modes for live remixing and mashing up your sounds, plus they've added even more functionality for controlling your sample decks. I'm going to talk you through how to easily set up your new Jockey 3 Remix. Step 1. At the rear of the Jockey 3 Remix, connect the power supply. Also connect the USB cable and finally an audio cable into either Master Out 1 or Master Out 2. Step 2. Install the drivers provided on the startup disk. And finally, step 3. Install Tractor 2. A copy of Tractor 2 LE software is also included on the startup disk, but to use the full scope of features, Tractor 2 Pro is required. Once installed, simply run the setup wizard and select Reloop Jockey 3 Remix from the list of devices. If you already own Tractor Pro 2, there's no need to install it from the startup disk. However, be sure to have at least version 2.5. Before the Jockey 3 Remix can be used with Tractor, you'll need the official mapping which is available from the Reloop website. Once you've downloaded it, start Tractor, open the preferences, click on Import and select the mapping. The Jockey 3 Remix is now ready to use. Let's take a look at what connections the Jockey 3 Remix has to offer. At the back of the unit, you can see there is a DC in port to connect the power supply. There's also an on-off button and a USB port for sending the control data. To customise the sensitivity of the jog wheel platters, there's a small jog sensitivity knob which can be set to anywhere between 0 and 10, where 0 completely disables the platter response and 10 provides the maximum sensitivity for scratching techniques. This value is also represented by the LEDs around the two inner encoders. Another small knob labelled LED dimmer allows you to set the brightness level between 0 and 10 for all LEDs on the unit, which is very useful particularly when performing in low light or dark environments. The shift lock switch lets you toggle between shift hold and shift lock modes. With shift lock off, you'll need to press and hold the shift button in order to access the controls on the shift layer. However, with shift lock on, pressing the shift button just once will activate the shift layer until it is deactivated by pressing the shift button again. The master through port allows a 3.5mm jack connection for playing an external audio source through the master out of the Jockey 3 Remix. This is particularly useful for connecting the output from another DJ setup, making the task of performing with and switching to another DJ much more convenient. The master through level can even be monitored through the headphones by activating the Q master through switch found on the front of the unit. The Jockey 3 Remix offers a choice of two master out connections. Master one is a balanced jack connection which is ideal for home setups. And Master 2 is a non-balanced RCA connection, which is preferred for professional club setups. The level for both of these outputs is controlled by the master knob. A booth output is also available as an RCA connection and its volume can be controlled independently to the master volume by the designated booth knob. With regards to input connections, the Jockey 3 Remix can receive two separate inputs which can be toggled to either line or phono using the designated switches. So in addition to the Jockey 3 Remix being a MIDI controller, it can also be used as a traditional standalone mixer for external equipment such as CD players or turntables. In this case, no USB connection is required. Just hook up your decks and flip the deck select switches to IN1 and IN2 and you'll be able to use the onboard controls in the mixer section to cue and mix your tracks. The input signal can either be routed directly through the master of the Jockey 3 Remix, or it can be routed into any software for recording or for applying effects to. 
The switches to select this are found at the front of the unit. Also on the front is a mic input and a dedicated volume knob for the mic. And again, we have a switch allowing you to route the signal directly through the master out of the Jockey 3 Remix or into any software for recording or to apply external effects. For scratching, there's an all-important crossfader curve control. And finally, the Jockey 3 Remix conveniently provides the option of two different sized headphone connections should you lose your adapter or even to allow two DJs to listen at the same time.